after studying this module you shall be able to know about the significance of hacking and its functioning various sets of hackers and their motives concept of cyber money laundering the introduction of the internet has generated unmasked prospects of commerce education research entertainment and unrestricted dialogue a comprehensive marketplace has developed in which fresh philosophies and better appreciations for multiculturalism have thrived in actual fact electronic access to extraordinary data has intersected old fashioned restrictions of communication however technological developments have factually steered to immoral innovations and in this series the information or digital revolution has created an innovative environment for both terrorist activities and criminal behavior computers may be projected targets of a criminal or may possibly signify the instrumentality of cyber crime hacking activities may fall into other category in its most elementary form hacking can be defined as the progression of determining and the consequent manipulation of the various deficits and flaws in a computer system or a network of such computer systems this manipulation may take the form of retrieving and pilfering of information altering the configuration changing the organizational representation of the computer system and so on in hacking activities one computer provides the means for the criminal activity while another serves as a target finally an individual may wrongly gain access to a computer by unauthorized use to steal information which exist therein like other traditional criminal behaviors the practice employed the motivation expressed and the complexity displayed in hacking are but a few characteristic which may fluctuate considerably thus hacking activities are most suitably suited on a range on the low end there may be some individuals who take certain amusements in entering system for the utter fun of it the activities may range from meddling around the neighbor's computer to searching the bricks of classified government archives on the high end of the spectrum reside individuals who enter the same system with damage or subversions in mind now understanding hacking the origin of the term hacking has been claimed by the massachusetts institute of technology mit and dates back to the 1960s when the term was used by mit students to refer to either the development of innovative techniques to recognize computer shortcuts or ingenious mischiefs the advent of the term in the popular media coupled with the increase in accessibility and connectivity removed the ivory towers and dramatically increased the number of individuals engaged in hacking activities the newcomers to the argument were often young socially retarded males who initially became enamored of computers and computer technology through role playing games rpgs such entertainment necessitating excessive downloads led these individuals to manipulate the internet service providers isps a plethora of reasons may be behind hacking where some do it with the very predictable reason of making money they may steal and retrieve information from a computer system or plant incorrect information in return for monetary gains some others do it simply for challenging of the whole activity the rush of doing something that is prohibited assessing what is forbidden and yet others are computer world 
equivalents of social offenders who may assess a network or system and scramble, thereby rendering it utterly useless for the users of such networks. There are people who hacked a system as a symbol of protest against the authority. Instead of being vocal against the policies which they consider unreasonable, they burrow into the technological network systems employed by the authority and cause mayhem. Early hackers emphasized the virtuality of cyberspace arguing that the internet is a sphere of unreality where nothing is concrete and everything is simulated. Finally, traditional hackers around the globe shared a sense of overwhelming empowerment in which they were the keepers of all knowledge. Sophisticated computer criminals that are proficient of programming, writing code and breaching complex systems are regarded as hackers or crackers depending on their motivation. Criminal hackers or hackers are those who target data which is valuable on its face, example trade secrets and proprietary data or directed at data, example credit card data, which may be used for further another criminal activity. Unfortunately, many users recognize the potentiality for exploitation of valuable data and include at least a modicum of security, but fail to appreciate risk associated with other forms of data. In fact, the data targeted may appear to be totally beginning or innocuous. In reality, the level of intrusion and the nature of the objective may pose risk ranging from physical security to operation security. Now, hackers, based on their modus operandi and the intent behind their actions, hackers can be classified. First is white hat hackers. The term white hat is used to refer to someone who hacks into a computer system or network for intentions that are not malified. They may do as a part of a series of tests performed to check the efficiency of their security systems or as a part of research and development that is carried out by companies that manufacture computer security software. While hat hackers are also known as ethical hackers as they perform vulnerability assessments and penetration tests. Now black hat hackers. A black hat hacker as the name poses is the polar opposite of white hat hacker in terms of both purpose as well as approach. They infringe a network of malified intentions for monetary and personal gains. They are the proscribed communities who fit the commonly perceived stereotype of computer criminals. They gain access into a system and steal or destroy the information or modify the same. They may affect the program in such a way that it is rendered useless for the intended users. When they notice a weak spot or vulnerable area in the system, they take control of the system by way of such weak spot. They keep the administrators, authorities and the general public in the blind regarding such vulnerabilities. They do not make any attempts to fix the omissions unless their ring face a threat from a third party. Now, Grey hat hackers. Grey hat hackers have an accusative combination of both black hat and white hat characteristics. They scan the internet and search network errors and hack into the system. They do so with the only intention of providing to the system administrators that their network has a deficit in terms of security. Once hacked into the system, they may offer to analyze and rectify the deficit for a suitable consideration. Now, blue hat hackers. These are freelance service providers who offer their expertise for here to computer security firms. Before a new system is introduced in the market, the services of blue hats are called for to check the system for any potential weakness. Now, elite hackers. They are the best category of the hacking community. This is a marker of social status used to demote the most 
proficient hackers. They are the first ones to break into a seemingly imperitable systems and write programs to do so. The elite status is generally conferred on them by the hacking community to which they belong. Now, Skiddy. The term Skiddy is short for script kiddle. These are the amateur level hackers who manage to break into and access systems by making use of programs written by other expert level hackers. They have little or no grabs on the intricacies of the program which they use. Script kiddies also known as skidoids, skiddy or victor skill deficiency VSD are the lowest life forms of cyber criminal. The term is a disappearance once used by more urban computer users to refer an inexpert hackers who employ scripts or other programs authored by others to exploit security vulnerabilities or otherwise compromise computer systems. Technologically, the least sophisticated of all cyber criminals, script kiddies are generally not capable of writing their own programs and do not fully understand the programs which they are executing. Thus, they are not capable of targeting a specific system, but are limited to those targets which possesses the identified vulnerabilities. Now, hacktivism. This is another version of hacking in which the individual or the community makes use of their skills to promulgate any religious or social message through the system they hack into. Hacktivism can broadly be classified into two kinds, cyber terrorism and right to information. Cyber terrorism refers to activities that involve breaking into a system with the sole intention of damaging or destroying it. Such hackers incapacitate the operations of the system and render it useless. The hackers who belong to the right to the information category operate with the intention of gathering confidential information from private and public sources and disseminate the same on the public domain. Now, cyber money laundering. With the advent of the internet and its increasing use for financial transactions and businesses, money laundering has obtained a new field of operation. Thus, cyber laundering may be called as the process of exploiting internet-based electronic wire transfer methods such as internet banking or online gambling in furtherance for masking the source of illegally obtained money. In essence, the object remains the same, which means the legitimate dishonest funds and hide their source. However, the classification of an act as cyber laundering research on the internet being a mode of preparation, execution or conclusion of that activity. The methods by which money may be legalized are varied and can range into sophistication. Earlier, laundering money was a physical effort of actually transporting currency which has been eliminated by cyber laundering. It was limited by the creative ability to manipulate the physical world. The classic methods were the flying hard cash out of the country and depositing it in the foreign bank, bribing a bank teller, discreting purchasing property, or for smurfs to deposit small cash amounts at the bank to avoid reporting requirements. These methods have now evolved with the advent of cyber laundering. The goal of any mechanism applied by the launderer is to convert one liquid asset into another asset, which is preferably in a less liquid form so as to make identification of the source of the acquisition as difficult as possible. It should be noted that money is only a means of exchange rather than an end it itself. This is known as the dispositional imperative of money which means it is useless to keep as a product in itself and needs to be deposited to yield any benefit to the holder. The mechanism of money laundering focuses on its characteristic of money in seeking to legitimize illegally obtained money. At the same time, it is this characteristic that provides enforcement authorities with effective leverage to entrap transgressors since the point of disposals are where the offenders may be caught. The past decade had witnessed an increasing proliferations of innovative payment mechanisms to facilitate e-commerce, 
such innovations have utilized internet and wireless devices and the migration from paper to electronic payments has reached all concern of the globe. Like all other emerging technologies, the implications of e-payments are both positive and negative. Consumers have benefited for example from the enhanced service and efficiency offered from e-banking. In addition, the low overhead associated with online financial institution has increased competition resulting in lower interest rates and higher yields. On the other hand, the criminal element has embraced a variety of new payment methods which are often anonymous, involve multi-judicial transactions and exits in an environment which lacks regulation and government oversight. These characteristics facilitate money laundering and terrorist financing and make it extremely difficult for investigators attempting to follow the money. Hacking can be defined as the progression of determining and the consequent manipulation of the various deficits and flaws in a computer system or a network of such computer system. The origin of the term hacking has been claimed by the Massachusetts Institute of Technology MIT and dates back to the 1960s when the term was used by the MIT students. Sophisticated computer criminals that are proficient of programming, writing code and breaching complex systems are regarded as hackers or crackers depending on their motivation. Based on their modus operandi and the internet behind their actions, hackers can be classified into white hat hackers, black hat hackers, grey hat hackers, blue hat hackers, elite hackers, skiddies, etc. Cyber laundering may be called as the process of exploiting internet-based electronic wire transfer methods such as internet banking or online gambling in furtherance of masking the source of illegally obtained money. The mechanism of money laundering focuses on this characteristic of money in seeking to legitimize illegally obtained money.